I've got a giant chunk of wood, and we're going to make a live edge bowl. This giant piece of wood, I uh, found it the other day. Uh, it's pretty dry. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to use my faceplate that came with my jet lathe to get this attached to the lathe. So we'll go ahead, we'll get that centered, we'll drive a few screws in, and that's going to be the A. So I'm just using every hole that uh, comes with this faceplate. And this is pretty easy to get attached. Uh, this is way too big for me to turn this way, so what I've got to go ahead and do, I'm going to bring you guys around, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cock my lathe the other way, and we'll get working. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be using my Hurricane turning tool, it's a 5 8 bull gouge. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to face the bottom and get a tenon. So I've got my lathe set to about 400 RPM. Uh, we'll see if she walks away on me. She's a little shaky, but I think once we bring this high point down, I think we'll have a little better balance. Let me grab my safety glasses. Woo, we'll start turning. Let's see those chips fly. I'll take you when I want it. Alright guys, so we're still working on getting the bottom of this flat. Uh, my lathe isn't bouncing around as much, but uh, we're getting on it. I'm going to have to sharpen up here in just a minute, but let me go ahead and make a few more cuts, take a break, sharpen up, and we'll get back to it. Alright ladies and gents, we got our new edge. Let's go ahead, let's get the bottom of this uh, live edge bowl wrapped up. Here we go. That it's clear I've stood in line Yeah, yeah So take me from here Think that it's clear I've done my time Yeah, yeah Listen, just keep in mind I ain't got no time Stop being sitting away Yeah I've done my time Swear I ain't lying Find another way Alright guys, uh, so that's going to be our bottom. It's going to need some sanding, but we've got a slight curve to it here. Uh, we're going to work on our recess here, and then we'll go ahead. I've got a little more shaping to do after I get my uh, recess uh, all marked out and ready to go. Here we go. Stop Done my time, said I ain't lying. Find another way. Ooh, ooh. Well, 17 years old, won't plan on growing old, no way. Yeah, yeah. Had a 40 ounce in hand, didn't have no master plan. No way. Just keep in mind. Yeah. Woo! Uh, we're getting there, guys. 
So uh, this is actually one of the most challenging projects I've taken on to date. So we've got the bottom shaped. Uh, I just finished sanding with 80 grit. Yes, you heard 80 grit. I'm not that good. I can't start at about 120 grit. I've got to start at 80 grit, but we all have to start somewhere. But uh, I've got it all shaped out. I've got some cracks here that I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to just fill with sawdust and uh, CA glue. Uh, I think that'll be fine. But let me guys give you kind of a little tour. This is the live edge out here. There's that knot I tried to keep. I just made it. Look at that. And that there is the bottom of the bowl. Alright, I'm going to continue sanding this. Uh, see you guys in a minute. Guys, I made it. Boy, I think the sanding of this thing took longer than actually shaping it. Well, we're halfway done. We've got the bottom formed. I've got my recess here for my chuck. Uh, first time adding a little design in here, I just took my parting tool and I added one, two, three circles. Uh, that dresses up the bottom a little nicely, so I guess now uh, I'm at a stage of my turning where I want to focus a little more on the little details and make each project my own. I think that's pretty cool. So we've got a slight taper down here to the bottom of the bowl. Here I've created a little indent and recess. Uh, this is where my uh, chuck is going to go ahead and hold this when I get this flipped over. I sanded uh, this log down to 400 grit. I added uh, two coats of sanding sealer. Uh, that's what you see here. Uh, one cool thing I want to show you guys at home, kind of how the bowl sits. Go ahead and take it off. I want to show you guys that slight taper that I did. Alright, perfect. So now you can see it a little better. Uh, see, I've got a slight taper and it sits flat on the table. Uh, that taper, I've got about half the bowl uh, sitting round. It doesn't rock. It's got good stance to it. I can't wait to get the inside of this uh, hollowed out. I think it's going to make a beautiful bowl. Uh, like I said, uh, this is actually the probably the most difficult project I've taken on as a beginning wood turner. Uh, it's tested my skills and it's showed me where I need to improve and what I need to do differently. So uh, I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to start hollowing the inside. Stay tuned. So I've still got my lathe uh, set to about 400.
I've got my negative rake scraper that I made. I've got a 70 uh, 30 uh, bevel on it. And I'm just trying to clean out all this end grain right now. It's doing a pretty good job. It's just going to save me on the back end. It's going to make my sanding go by a little quicker. This is how I do it. So on the inside, you see how fine those shavings are? And just work your way to the outside. Let me go ahead. I'm going to grab my sandpaper. I took a vote a little earlier. Uh, nobody likes sanding, so I don't need to show you any of that. If you guys recall how to sand, take your sandpaper, just like that, touch it to your work. When you're happy with the way it feels, you're done. I'll see you in a minute just after I put two coats of a sanding sealer on it. See you in just a minute. Don't go anywhere. Alright guys. So the bowl is done. That's the inside. That's my live edge outside. I got to keep my knot. Look at that. Woo! That's the bottom. I gave it a little bit of a detail there. The only thing left to do is I've got two coats of sanding sealer on it. I was going to uh, schlack it, but you know what? I decided not to do that. I like my organic wax finish much better. I think it's going to be healthier for the whole family. So I went out to Harbor Freight. I got a cotton wheel. <laughs> I'm going to charge it with some wax. Let's get this thing buffed out so we can put something in it. Woo! piece of live edge eucalyptus. Isn't that just beautiful? I mean, just to think, this was just sitting in the alley. This was going to end up in a landfill somewhere, and I took it home. I gave it some life. I gave it some shine. I get to put stuff in it. How cool is that? Guys, I learned three things today. I'm going to go ahead and recap. Don't wear a black shirt when you're woodworking. Make sure you got your safety glasses on. Always follow the bevel of your tool. Guys, if you like this video, be sure, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be coming out with these videos weekly. Thank you. Woo!